Well, you might notice that this Discord server looks a little bit different than yours and a little bit different than the Midjourney server in general. For example, I am the only one in this server right now, and if you look on the left, all of the text channels are specifically organized to what I want Midjourney to spit out. That means if I want to make characters or thumbnails or print on demand scales, I can go right into my own server and activate Midjourney to do just that. As you can see, Midjourney is fully functioning in inside of this server. Absolutely anybody can add Midjourney, Midjourney v5 to a Discord server and I'm going to show you how right now. So go ahead and open Discord and on the left we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Probably won't be as far for you as it was for me. I'm usually maxed out on servers and you're going to click add a server. Once you're in here you're going to click create my own and then whatever you want generally just for me and my friends on this one and then you can go ahead and name it. We'll just name this Mid journey test okay mid journey test and then you're gonna go ahead and click on create now this will create a brand new server just for you and when you're in here we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that voice channel you can start creating your channels that you want mid journey to well work in so if you want a thumbnail channel you can create a thumbnail channel of course you want them to be a text channel and then down here where it says channel name let's just say thumbnails um, well, dyslexia got me there, but it is what it is. You get the point. And then say we want uh, characters. So we're just basically building out our server so we have really a categorized uh, look at what we want Midjourney to create. But I'm going to go back to this server that I've already created and see all my categories here. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to the actual Midjourney server itself. This is after you've created your Discord server. So let's look for it right here. We have the Mid Journey server. This is the one that anybody's going to be introduced to when they first run into Mid Journey. Now, on the right, you're going to see it says Mid Journey Bot, and that's what we want. We want to get that bot on our own private server. Real quick, if you don't see this side menu here where it shows all the members, you can easily just go up to the top of Discord here, and there will be a little hide member or show member list. It's a silhouette of a person. Once you're here, you're going to click onto Mid Mid Journey bot itself and then you're gonna click add to server once you're here it's gonna let you know that it requires you to have managed server permissions but if you just created your own server of course you're gonna have managed server permissions because you own that server so it's gonna be able to create commands in a server the one thing it's not gonna be able to do yet may in the future is micro brew some local kombucha that's just awesome that they put that in here you're gonna click add to server and whatever server you just created you're going to choose add and then continue now let's actually go back to this server itself now one thing I like to do is I made this mid journey test server so you can actually test to make sure it's working. It works the same as the mid journey server itself. You're gonna type slash imagine and it's going to give you a prompt. So let's just say imagine a prompt. There you go, and it will start working. One thing is, this does require the $10 a month membership just because the server is overloaded. Now, I want to say, before the server became so overloaded, it would let you do this on a free plan. It would let you do this on a trial. But as of right now, it will not let you do it on a trial. It's like $8 a month if you want to use this. Um, but 8 bucks a month, I'm not an affiliate. But eight bucks a month to have a tool like this at your fingertips seems worth it. So if there's something in the AI space, we've been covering everything artificial intelligence. Look out for the next video as we're going to be looking at the top five companies that someone could invest in if they want to invest in artificial intelligence, the future possibilities and potential of that. Also, if you enjoy these kind of videos, check out the video that's on your screen now.